I'm Devlin Eden from coachparry.com and today we're talking about polarized training. Polarized training, just to let you know, is where we talk about the two ends of the spectrum in terms of training intensity. Easy being very easy type of training and hard training being very hard with nothing in between. I'm going to hand over to Shona now to kick us off. The study is done by Ike Muno, Steven Seiler and their colleagues and it's a, a publication that is in the International Journal of Sports Physiology and Performance. So the methodology of the study is that they took 30 male endurance runners. All of the males were, were sub 40 minute 10k runners and that, that's, that's the group that they looked at. They took these 30 endurance athletes and they divided them into two groups. Essentially one of the groups was doing polarized training. So that's where almost like an 80-20, so 80% nice, easy, slow endurance kind of running and 20% harder running. And then they did another group. The other group was divided into training where they were running what we would almost term like a zone three, that's like a medium intensity kind of group. And each of these groups did those types of training. Before they started the intervention, so before they started the actual training plan, each of the participants did a, a test. In that test, they measured maximum sort of capacity, they measured uh, ventilatory thresholds. Every single participant was working specifically to their own thresholds. Before they started the intervention, the subjects did a 10K race on the particular course. They kept that same course to then do the 10K race again after the intervention, the intervention just being the type of training program that they were on. I'm gonna hand you over to Dev now and he's gonna discuss the findings and what that means to you. The outcome of this particular study found that the two groups, so the one group that was doing the polarized endurance training versus the group that was doing the between threshold training. So the outcomes of this study, quite interestingly, both groups actually improved their 10 kilometer times. So that just goes to show that different forms of training actually do work. So it's not to say that this one works and this one doesn't work. One of the limitations, however, to the study was that they found that the athletes that were doing the polarized endurance training weren't doing the polarized endurance training enough so polarized enough meaning that some of these athletes were just pushing the limits a little bit more they were doing their easy sessions a little bit too hard and they were doing their hard sessions just a little bit too easy they then analyzed the subset of data on the polarized endurance training athletes and found that the 12 athletes who did this well actually showed better improvements in their 10k times than what their athletes did that we're doing the between threshold training. What does this mean for us? Here at Coach Parry, we use a polarized approach. So we talk about doing our easy runs easy enough and our hard runs hard enough. And ultimately what we're trying to say is it allows you to do the easy runs easy enough, allows you to be fresh enough to do the hard runs or the interval sessions hard enough. It allows you to be fresh enough for race day as well and that is the angle that we like to take and that approach to our training philosophy and why we feel that using a polarized method is going to have greater benefit for you as the runner.